How do you find the four quantum numbers for the valence electron of potassium? I'm going to show you my shortcut method right off the bat, then I'll show you the longer way in just a moment. First, potassium is in the fourth row, first column. This block here, the first two columns, is called the S block, and these elements in the fourth row happen to be n equals 4. So the quantum number is 4, and because it's the s block, we know L is 0, okay? Now that's for its outer atom only. There are electrons in potassium at n equals 3, n equals 2, n equals 1, but we were asked for the outer atom. When L is 0, you know that ML is limited to 0 as well, and then ms can either be plus a half or minus a half. Potassium is the very first element of those two. So I choose positive a half, which is what I personally use for like the lowest state electron. n equals 4, l equals 0, ml equals 0, and ms equals plus a half are my four quantum numbers. There you go. Now, the long way that I also use to double check my answer is to draw an electron configuration diagram. 1s can hold two electrons. The second shell can hold up to eight because it goes 2s2, 2p6. The third shell can hold a whole bunch, but you fill 3s and 3p, then 4s, then 3d, and it goes on like that, right? Now, because potassium is element number 19, we're worried about the, where the 19th electron is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, here is number 19. Now, this is what's giving you the information about what the quantum number is. Here's n, n is 4. Here's l, s means l is 0. Now, each of the slashes corresponds to an ml. For this one, ml has to be 0. But for p, where l equals 1, this could be negative 1, 0, or 1. For d, where l is 2, you have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 in that order. And then I personally draw my up electron first. You probably noticed that as I was drawing, which is why I choose my ms to be plus a half. But hey, if your teacher uses a different convention, go do and use that, okay? Great. That's how you figure it out, not just for potassium, but for anything. But here's your answer for potassium. Boom. Welcome to the party. Best of luck.